It's just a hand. What else are you doing with your hand? Oh my god. Okay, so it's a demon. We're done. It's a demon. Yeah, no, Can you re straighten for demon? I know. Confirm I'm gonna, I'm, on I'm demon. I'm gonna hand you this. And I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. And I'm gonna All right, buddy. Car. I'll see you in the car. Yeah, I'm gonna take my lamb. my throat really Chris. Why are you why are you a mother bird? Welcome to another episode of Spirits with Spirits. <laughs> Today we have the uh the the the, the, the spice that. the spice man. <laughs> spice man <laughs> Dragon. You've heard of Spice Girls, but have you heard? The Spice Man. <laughs> Where's the Spice Man? Of their father. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome to another episode of Spirits with Spirits. We are here at Bogman Cemetery with the one and only Heat Honcho. I could have said that. <laughs> well, you didn't. I, I was going and it's to. it's Bachman's motherfucker. Ba anyway, Bachman's. there's no K. We're not going to go through the lessons of the English language right now. Anyway, we are in Bachman Cemetery, just north of Tyrone, Pennsylvania. Um, and it is actually accredited for being in the top 10 to 15 list of most haunted cemeteries in America. Super underrated, and I don't yep. know where that stat came from, but so I found it a couple times. It's very small. It's very small. Apparently what we have here are ghost horses. Ghost children. Ghost children. And... To build the whole hype of everything, apparently some dude hung himself here not long after people started having like ghost sightings. Why are there always bugs? So that also kind of amplified everyone's kind of word of mouth of the place being haunted. But yeah, there's ghost kids that play hide and seek. There's fucking ghost horses that just gallop along. Yep. Which is kind of weird. And it's a pretty small cemetery, surprisingly. So like, you would not expect this area to be on top 10 of anything. Oh, yeah, anything. It's like, you know. Not even a football field. No, it's like Pretty half small. of one. Yeah. 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 So, yo, if this is like a family's graveyard, because like typically it's in a line, right? We got Mary, Ralph, this one says father, this one says mother. All with the same last name. But then if you look at these gravestones, this one's five years old, nine years old, eight years old, six years old, three years old. That's fucked. Do you think that's like gonna play One, two, three, four, kids? five. Five fucking kids under that's fucking just 12. Row. Under 12. Yeah. Make your presence known tonight. Nobody else wants to come to Tyrone. That's why we're here. All right, a little dark, but we're here. Where are we? Oh, we've been here. Never mind. Bachman's. I'm nine beers deep. Joe's hammered. Okay, so anyway. what we are doing now is, hold on. <laughs> so what we're doing now is we are preparing, now that it is becoming nightfall here at the Bachman Cemetery, Oof. Um, we're gonna get a couple of our tests ready. Three. Can I clarify so saw that I'm so actually saw a skeptic? Yeah, uh, he's I, a skeptic. Okay. Now, my okay. friends here have known me for a long time, and as the founder of the network, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I don't believe in a lot of supernatural. I think it's a lot of folklore. I think it's a lot of like, oh my God, this story's overinflated. It's like the telephone game when you're a kid. It's like, oh, I told you this. But it Mike, happens with this. you believe in the blood moons. I think Mike's on the same kind of wavelength as I am is, yes, I do believe in something out there. Yes. But, I do not have any fucking clue what it is mm -hmm. or what it could be. Let me let me agree to that. I'm gonna subscribe to that. Hit the like button. So he's I'm not down. a skeptic. Hit the anyway, bell. Um, yes. so we're just preparing for nightfall. Mike saw a shadow, which is I cool. I totally was it saw a tall it. shadow or a short one? I'm gonna say it was a shorter one that I saw jump between a tombstone to that cedar tree in the middle. 
which you can't see right now. And frame. that is that is one of the things that they say they see around here is it's like th like is, little kids darting yeah, back and forth, and jumping shit. from tombstone to tombstone. Stuff now, like that, so. keep in mind, I'm also a skeptic in the sense that I always keep a knife on me. So. Are you gonna stab a ghost kid? Oh yeah, I'll dude. Can you go to jail for stabbing a ghost kid? No, they're dead. Yeah, I don't know. So we're gonna set up our standard night mission. It's not like, a fucking recon team. Mission. We're gonna set up our standard um, test seal. that Joe and I have done a dozen times at this point. Yep. Um, and on top of that, we're just gonna kind of see. I like being the outsider. Here. If we can kind of instigate something. I mean, Mike's our most playful friend. That's why we've loved him for all these years. Like. He brings us our joy and giddiness to like, if there was like, like children's spirits around, they're gonna like him because he's the fun guy. He's the fun uncle. I should have so. brought my sriracha pocket, which is like a little thing with sriracha and I gotta spray it in the ghost eyes. I got it for you. You did. It's because I'm the best friend Mike. ever. Yeah. Are you feeling moldy? I'm feeling spicy. Oh, because you're a fun guy. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Get ready. <laughs> Is there anything you would like to tell us? You hear devil? Is the devil here? Jesus, why are you yelling? He's not here. If he's in Tyrone, that says a lot about Tyrone. If the devil is here, can you please make yourself known? I Show forward. I don't feel comfortable with this. I, I'm not a skeptic anymore. I'm a fucking believer in this shit. Like, get the fuck it's out like of here. It's like the here. end of Shrek. All right, so if you are a demon, can you cross these... Cross these, uh... Dowsing rods. Dowsing rods. It's just a hand. What else are you doing with your hand? Oh my god. Okay, done. so no. it's a demon. <laughs> it's a demon. Yeah, it, no. Can you re-straighten for demon? I'm, no, Confirm I'm gonna, I'm, on I'm demon. I'm gonna hand you this, and I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna All right, buddy. I'll see you in the car. Yeah, I'm gonna get my land. <laughs> oh, my head's too big for this. There's no demons here. There's no demons here. I'd be able to feel them. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're down a person. <laughs> As <Rookies>. expected. <laughs> well, yeah, wrapping up here. We well, didn't really find anything, but we scared Mike quite to, a bit. to get in the car again. Yeah, so right now we have a uh, huge fucking storm behind us. And we're up here again because Mike chickened out the first time. So it's it's not looking great though. It's not looking great, I've but we're worse. gonna make it work. I've seen worse. So now we brought our other minty boy, Christopher, and we did invite Mick. Mick was double booked. So we got his wife and my good friend, Kirsty. Cheers. Cheers. Um, yeah, it's about to shit storm, so this might be like a weird, like, spirits with spirits meets twister. I can smell the rain. Oh type thing. I can smell the coolness. The humidity's dropping. <laughs> so, we're gonna slam some beers. We're gonna probably sit in the car till it's clear. Once it starts raining. And then we're gonna see if we can find anything with an honest attempt. I guess Mike's not here to poop his pants. <laughs> um, and according to Kirsty, who has to hear Mick's ramblings constantly because of it, getting ready to storm, this is like good time for ghost hunting. Yeah. Correct? Maybe, yes, because all of the weather is gonna spike up the EMF and they're gonna feed off of it, so. And I did bring be a lot of shit. the EMF meter, so. Yeah, this storm's gonna fuck. <laughs> I'm eating my words. Two minutes ago, it's like, no, it's fine. <laughs> so we waited for the rain to stop. It took about 45 minutes. And then we got right into the investigation. My specific goal was to go near the cedar tree to see if there was any EMF. And when I was doing that, Kirsty had this experience. So when Joe was over here trying to get something to come out from behind the tree, I walked towards the one grave over here. Fucking Christ, Chris. I didn't realize you were there. <laughs> Sorry. I walked towards the one grave over here that's covered with uh, vines and things. And I'm pretty sure I heard someone growl or something growl. Is that bog? Bogman's grave. Bog I don't know, it's all Bogman. Bogman. Covered, I didn't see the Bog. name. Yeah, that's well hold on. It's I, I think it might be the one over here. The flag, it's all covered. That's the I got the B roll from it. It's Bogman's dude. It is? Yeah. Are you serious? That's where I've heard the growl. Yeah, look. Is this first thing? Oh my god! 
Yeah. This Bogman's That's great. Good. Oh my god, that is freaking awesome. This is where I heard the growl. So right now, we're kind of in between storm waves. We need to set up a spirit box session just to get some sort of an investigation going here. And that's when this happens. Yeah, please stop eating while yeah, we're that's filming. Horrible. That's horrible. What did you see? There's a kid. I have goosebumps. Where there was a kid. Flag. I swear. So right away we go over to investigate what Kara said that she saw and nothing is there. There's absolutely nobody around. I mean, it's in the middle of a storm. So pretty cool thing of her to experience, but we have no actual physical evidence to go along with the claim. So from here, we get our spirit box session started and just see what we get. If anyone is here with us, please say, Steven, that is my name. I will happily talk to you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can you please say Steven if you are here? Who said devil? Ooh, there was something there. Wait, wait. Who was it that said devil? What's your name? Powerful. 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 So after getting a few results on the spirit box, we went up the hill a little bit to where Kirsty said she saw some shadows moving and we brought out the big guns, as Steven would say, but I hate these things. So we decided to do a dousing rod session, and here's what we got. First, uh, the first episode of this, I did the dousing rods, but I can't say that they were accurate because I couldn't stand straight. Our production crew said she just heard a laugh behind her while we were if doing this. If that all was you who laughed behind Kara, please cross the rods. Or laugh. Or laugh again for me. God. What? Do you not see these? They're fucking crying. Do you not see these? Oh, hey. Okay, if uh, that was you. straighten to confirm, please, if yes. you're the one that Kara heard laugh. What, can you see something? Shoot the camera. Huh? Shoot the camera. Shoot the camera. Um, we're going to take a quick freeze, and we're going to rotate to see what's laughing. That is freaking awesome. So from here, we turn the camera around to see if we could capture anything that would be, I don't know, a disembodied something that might have been laughing. And we got nothing. We continued the dousing rods for a little bit, and after that, it started to rain down pretty hard, so we had to get out of there pretty fast. Fine by me. Well, thank you all for tuning in. If you enjoyed this investigation or have tips that we might consider, please comment, but always like, it does help the channel, and please subscribe to the channel for any future ghost hunting or other various adventures. Bye-bye. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. All right.